we physicists say that the universe was created in a Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago. But then the question is, why did it bang? What set off the bang? What set off the bang? For as long as we've been studying science and the history of our universe, the Big Bang has been the explanation for it all. There have been hundreds of studies, thousands of scientists have worked on the research, and from what data has always said, the Big Bang has been the leading theory that proved how the universe was made. That energy is dark energy. There is an energy source even bigger than galactic, and dark energy is the energy of the Big Bang, the anti-gravitational force that's creating the expanding universe. But science today is a lot different than what it was back in the day, and with technological improvements come new theories. More often than not, we find out that things we believe to be 100% true are far from it, and well, it might have just happened again. Michio Kaku is finally talking about it. The Big Bang has officially been debunked as the James Webb Telescope has detected 750 new galaxies, and they're nothing like what they should be. Join us as we dig deeper into what the James Webb Telescope found and how it changes everything we thought about the way the universe came into being. At first glance, the images of the new galaxies taken by the JWST telescope look absolutely breathtaking. In a good way, you can see hundreds of galaxies all in the same frame, and the sheer power in the photos is something you just can't ignore. But that's what things look like to the average person. For researchers, things are the total opposite. These pictures are surprising, to say the least. They don't match what scientists thought they would see based on their theories, in fact, they're seeing way more galaxies than expected, and these galaxies are different in some surprising ways. They're smooth, smaller than imagined, and really old. All these surprises are causing a bit of a panic among the scientists. One paper even starts with the word panic in its title, so you know things are serious. The galaxies look nothing like what they're supposed to. Scientists have put forward the Big Bang Theory, as the leading explanation for the origins of our vast universe. According to this theory, around 14 billion years ago, the universe came into existence through some sort of mysterious cosmic event. It's the ultimate birth story of the cosmos. The surprising nature of the images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope has challenged scientists' understanding of the universe's origins. The hypothesis that these images directly contradict is the Big Bang hypothesis, which has long been regarded as an unquestionable truth by the majority of cosmological theorists. These galaxies appear to be too small, too smooth, too old, and too numerous when compared to the predictions of the Big Bang hypothesis. The small size of the observed galaxies entirely contradicts the expected behavior in an expanding universe. According to the hypothesis, as the universe expands, objects should appear larger with increasing distance. Yet the JWST images show galaxies that are two to three times smaller than similar galaxies observed using the Hubble Space Telescope. This discrepancy challenges the notion of an expanding universe. We don't actually envision that the universe is expanding into some pre-existing container. There's also the fact that the smoothness of these galaxies is totally unexpected. The Big Bang Theory suggests that galaxies should exhibit irregularities and variations in their structures due to the dynamics of their formation and evolution. However, the JWST images reveal galaxies that appear unusually smooth, lacking the expected level of complexity and roughness. The age of the observed galaxies also seems to be incredibly strange. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create. Plus, there's also the fact that the abundance of observed galaxies is a lot higher than what it was supposed to be. The Big Bang hypothesis predicts a certain distribution and density of galaxies based on the expansion and evolution of the universe. But the JWST images show a massive number of galaxies, which raises questions about the accuracy of the predictions made by the hypothesis. According to the Big Bang theory, 
at the very beginning of the universe. All matter, energy, and the building blocks of the cosmos were compressed into an extremely tiny and highly concentrated point, called a singularity. This is a point where infinite density exists. When we say infinite density, we mean that the matter and energy within this singularity were squeezed together to such an extent that their density reached an infinitely high value. The concept of a singularity comes from our current understanding of the laws of physics, particularly the equations of general relativity proposed by Albert Einstein. Within the singularity, all the matter and energy in the universe existed in an extraordinarily compressed form. The extreme density implies that an enormous amount of mass and energy was concentrated within an infinitesimally small space. Cosmic inflation played a massive role in shaping the large-scale structure of the universe. It smoothed out irregularities, homogenized the distribution of matter and energy, and set the stage for the subsequent formation of galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures. We all know that as brilliant as Einstein was, and as successful as his general theory of relativity has been, it has limits. And one limit is the center of a black hole, and another limit is the very birth of the universe. It's this ongoing expansion is known as the expansion of the universe, or cosmic expansion. Scientists have observed the effects of this expansion through various observations, such as the redshift of light from distant galaxies. The redshift indicates that as the universe expands, light waves get stretched and shifted towards longer wavelengths, shifting them towards the red end of the spectrum. While the expansion was happening, we basically had all the stuff that makes up our universe squeezed into an incredibly small volume. It was clear that matter cannot survive in space like this, so something had to give. As the universe expanded and cooled down, transformations took place. Particles, such as protons, neutrons, and electrons, began to interact with light and energy in their surroundings. These interactions played a pivotal role in shaping the formation of matter in the universe. During the first few minutes after the Big Bang, there was a process called nucleosynthesis. This process involved the creation of lightweight elements like hydrogen and helium. The extreme temperatures and conditions during this phase allowed for the fusion of protons and neutrons to form these simple atomic building blocks. Hydrogen, the simplest and most abundant element in the universe, was formed primarily during this early period. Helium, the second most abundant element, also emerged during this time. Now, the Big Bang theory might seem like wordplay, but it's supported by a lot of compelling evidence. The Big Bang was an interesting event, but not the first event in the totality of reality. One of the most significant pieces of evidence for the Big Bang theory is the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB. The CMB is a faint radiation that fills the entire universe and represents the afterglow of the Big Bang. This cosmic radiation was first detected in 1965 and has since been studied extensively. Reports the idea that the universe was once in an extremely hot and dense state before undergoing expansion which, as we've discussed earlier in the video, was one of the main things that happened during the Big Bang. The presence of the CMB provides a remarkable glimpse into the early stages of the universe, serving as a direct echo of the initial moments following the Big Bang. Its discovery and subsequent analysis have played a crucial role in cementing the Big Bang theory as the perfect explanation for the origins of the cosmos. In addition to the CMB, other lines of evidence further prove the Big Bang theory. Observations of the redshift of light from distant galaxies provide evidence of the expanding universe too. The almighty Big Bang theory has been declared wrong by Michio Kaku. The renowned physicist and a one-time Nobel Prize winner has recently made a shocking announcement regarding the Big Bang theory, which caused a stir in the scientific community. The latter is the Big Bang theory, which Michio Kaku just announced. But not just that. 
the large-scale distribution of galaxies, which is something that was revealed through astronomical surveys, matches the predicted patterns emerging from the Big Bang theory. As astronomers have meticulously observed and mapped the cosmos, they have discovered a striking pattern, the clustering of galaxies and the overall structure of the universe. Galaxies tend to congregate together in vast groups, clusters, and superclusters, forming intricate networks that extend across the cosmos. This observed large-scale structure aligns with the predictions made by the Big Bang Theory. We can also unlock the secrets of the Big Bang. Imagine a time when everything we know didn't exist. A moment so powerful, it shaped the entire universe. It's called the Big Bang. In an instant, all matter and energy burst forth, creating galaxies, stars... The gravitational effects predicted by the Big Bang Theory are consistent with what we observe today. Gravity draws matter together, causing galaxies to cluster in certain regions and form intricate filamentary structures that connect them. These structures reveal the cosmic web-like pattern of the universe. The presence of these galaxy clusters and the interconnected web of matter provide strong support for the Big Bang theory. The formation of galaxies and their distribution across the universe aligns with the gravitational effects expected from the initial dense and expanding state posited by the theory. The clustering of galaxies, the cosmic web-like structure, and the distribution of galaxy clusters all come together to support the idea that the universe has evolved from a primordial state of extreme density and has undergone expansion over billions of years. Of galaxies, because it's clear that these new galaxies haven't gone through any of the hardships that you'd normally expect if you were following the Big Bang Theory. If there are actually just a few or no mergers happening out there, it becomes implausible for tiny galaxies to grow and become hundreds of times larger. This implies that these galaxies were never originally tiny to begin with. Along with it, the optical illusion predicted by the expanding universe hypothesis, where objects appear smaller with increasing distance due to expansion, also doesn't exist. So everything we've been believing this entire time was nothing but a lie. As we've touched on briefly earlier on in the video, the age and abundance of galaxies revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope also challenge the validity of the Big Bang Theory. The JWST is equipped with filters that allow it to capture images in the infrared part of the spectrum, and with that, astronomers can study the colors of distant galaxies a lot easier than ever before. Subscribe for more space videos.